Today we're going to talk about the 33 trade. Stay tuned traders, you don't want to miss this one. We'll be right back. Today traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Friday, we've had a big week in the currency markets. A couple of days of some fantastic moves. A couple of days of some fairly consolidated, slow moving markets. That's trading. But every day there's been 50 pips. Not so much necessarily textbook perfect setups, but there's been 50 pips at least once a day in one of the sessions. Today we're gonna to talk about three push patterns, three levels of rise and fall, how that coincides within each session, how that can be applied each day as it unfolds, Asia, London, and New York, and each week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you look at your daily charts, the same principles will apply on the daily charts. And again, typically these will end in a big move. Now these can either end a move or they can be a continuation pattern. And there's an easy way to identify both of those. So today we'll go back, we'll revisit our very basic system. We work from the high and the low of the day. Very specific to the market timings. We've talked about this. We talk about 8 to 11, 2 till 5, and 8 to 11. That's PM for Asia, AM for London, and AM for New York Eastern Standard Time. We talked about that first hour typically being a trap. Now we're going to talk about this because sometimes you'll get an entry in that first hour when we get the 33 setup, which is three levels of rise or fall ending on three pushes at the very peak of that summit. We had a fantastic one this week on the pound Aussie. We look for moves in the opening of the market session based on what happens in the pre-market and we talked about this yesterday. We talked about the one, two, three setup, which is a stop hunt setup, which is one of my main patterns and funny enough, there's been a couple of those the last couple of days, but not the, not, not the ideal textbook setups. I told you there's one in every session and normally there is. And sometimes you get three or four in one day. When they present though, they are a very high probability trading setup. But the most important thing is the timings. If I can emphasize to you every single video, focus on the timings. That's when the markets are going to move and we want to see stops get hit, even if you just work from the highs and lows. And again, we're not talking about just blindly entering into the market when it gets to that level. People have said, well, what's the difference? How would you enter a trend trade? We enter the trend trade the same way. There's going to be a stop hunt against the trend. There always is. They don't let anybody off with a free lunch. You don't get in until the market shows us what they're doing. So they could go one, two, three at the high and pull back one bar and continue but again, the timings are what's important. You'll often find that the timings don't match up with the breakout or with the stop hunt. So again, the stop hunt could be at the end of Asia or the breakout could be at the end of Asia. The stop hunt could be back against the trend at the open of Europe. And people get in thinking they're getting in at the high of the day because it broke a high or a low. Meanwhile, London opens up next and goes back through the stops and hits them again and stops them out. They short the market, it goes down a few bars and then continues the move and they get stopped out again and they throw their computer against the wall, <laughs> smash their hands on their desk and say trading doesn't work. You have to have a couple of simple setups that you know exactly what you are looking for. So let's get into this. Three pushes, 33 and it will end or continue a move. Each session has three pushes. They open the market up and it could be an open auction. So some days you're going to get a market that opens up and I'm talking, I'm not talking about this time. I'm talking about the equity market. So one hour later when the market's open, they could go back and forth around a range. They could go open up and go straight down and then hit it three times. They can go up, hit it down, move it back up one more time and create a trading range with three pushes. But again, we'll always, get three pushes. So we could have a move 
from the previous US session come in we could have a high and a low Asia they might take out the high right away in Asia or in uh, the US rollover and when Asia opens they might open up up here and they might move it down in three pushes before consolidating and pulling back heading into the Europe session so we have our high and our low then Europe goes back up in three pushes or in, in three bursts we talked about that yesterday we could have three big bull candles back up to the high ending right in the last candle prior to the the 3 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time candle taking out the stops and then London opens up and reverses with an engulfment candle they might give a pin hammer they might just go straight down there's tons of variations obviously but then they'll go back they've got traders chasing this long they've got breakout traders that, that are triggering orders they got profit taking going on they've got people getting in on shorter time frames because it's going so fast and then bang it goes back to the other side the next situation is that it will now do three pushes the best setups often happen when we get a market that takes off goes into consolidation and it does one push two pushes and then into the end of Europe it goes one two three taking out the stops so we have three pushes we have three levels of rise culminating in a one two three pushes to the high now again you'll notice that we have all this volume now all these people chasing the long trade they're caught up top here whereas the low of the day is down here and again there's stops sitting down there there's stops sitting here and here and they go one two three exactly at the timings for when London opens London opens and goes bang immediately traps a certain amount of people who are chasing the long trade up here then it goes bang again now we've got that whole upper crust trap and then bang again it's part of my and then one more possibly even a pin hitting all the stops and then possibly coming right back again in that first hour they will often paint the high and the low in that first hour for the London session but this this is a textbook situation where if you follow that over the three to six hour window they're trapping volume higher and then culminating that highest area with a one two three now that same situation applies on the downside and it also applies over the course of a day we'll get the Asian session we'll get the London session and we'll get the New York session which we had this week all in one day where they just each session keeps pushing a little bit higher and often what you'll find is that it'll be it'll be 25 to 50 pips it'll be 25 to 50 pips again and 25 to 50 pips again the pound Swiss did a beautiful one this week 25 pip box popped up to the next box in London pulled it back ran up to New York to the highs of the day another 25 pip box right into the open of the market the same situation a one two three and a hundred pip drop these trades show up all the time that one two three that we talked about yesterday but those three pushes show up in every session and if the three pushes end up near the high or the low of the session you'll often get the other session opening up so for example if Asia I talked about this yesterday if Asia opens up up high and at 3 a.m. London opens up down here <clears throat> where do you think they're going in a lot of cases they're gonna go right back up and stop hunt traders that are short doesn't mean they're gonna stay there but then we could get New York opening up up here for another move down or, or London could drag it down here and New York can open up here for a move back up here now people have asked me how do you know that you don't have a trend in place 
And again, that comes back to this one, two, three. If you have a trend in place, often you'll get the one, two, three in the open of the market against the trend for the, for the continuation down. Or you'll have, I'll wipe this off again. What you'll have is you'll have a high and a low and the market's breaking out and it breaks out again and they go one, two, three and people short it and all they're doing is they're shorting it back into the breakout. London opens up, hits the stops again and, and they do a creeper back down into the gap and then continue the move and go up another 25 to 50 pips. Really important, study your charts. Each session has three pushes. In the high and the low of the first three hours, they will have three pushes even in there. It could be a bull candle, then a bear candle, then a bull candle, then a bear candle, and then a bull candle to end the move, and maybe an inside bar, and they'll either go into consolidation or they'll come back. One, two, three. It's the same thing. But again, each day, look to see where your session boxes are. Are they sideways the whole session? In that case, look to see where each session is opening. Are they opening high or down low? Is Asia higher than London? Is London dropping down? So then they could trend it down. Doesn't mean New York. New York can open down and come up, but the session opened down low. So you had three levels of drop for the reversal trade back in New York. If New York opens up close to the London session, it may be a continuation of that trend down. Very important. And each week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could have a big box, but eventually they will work the high or the low of the box and they will either break out to continue that move or they will break out or, for, or, or condense the move down and squeeze it for the big explosion back off the low or the high to the other side of the box. Even on your daily charts, when the month rolls over, you'll see a high and a low. You'll see one of those sides either get broken out of or get hit. One push, two push, three push, unless it's a range bound month. And then they'll make a fast move out of that, that trend. So very important though, if you see three pushes consolidating into the higher the low, heading into the London or New York Open, that's a really great insight to the potential 33 where you'll get the one, two, three bursts in that first hour, hitting stops, trapping traders, chasing momentum to, to have that fast reversal on an open drive candle at the open of the market for a big move in the opposite direction. We'll take a look at some examples today. Start going through your charts and looking for the three pushes. And remember, if you're coming off of a, a big peak, as we saw this week on the Pound Aussie, a 33 trade, you'll often get three pushes into the trend for the fast continuation of a measured move. Stay disciplined, stay focused, study these patterns. Have a great trading day and may the markets go with you. Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, continuing our discussion on the three push patterns, specifically looking at some intraday examples on the charts with the pound crosses. And this is some trades just from this week. We talk about uh, three pushes occurring on almost every time frame uh, throughout weekly, daily, and our 15-minute cycles. We, we see them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, but also culminating in a burst of three pushes at the third level, which will usually end a move and end up in a big move in the opposite direction. Sometimes we'll see three pushes into a trend for a continuation move, and we'll also see three pushes end in three pushes and reverse the trend the other way. Just looking specifically at a couple of examples, uh, we see how the Asian range um, shifted up and then formed a peak before consolidating in that second three hour window and forming a second peak. And then on the Europe Open, we have a one, two, three burst to the high with a stop hunt and a pin hammer just at the close and then the opening of the London candle for the reversal back down. Now, as it turns out, uh, when you'll often see this one, two, three also on a level three, which can be the peak formation for a week, which in this particular case, uh, for the pound yen, it was a peak formation this week on, on Monday. Uh, this was a Friday. 
uh, we saw not only a one, two, th three with a 33 on the final burst to re reverse this move, a nice strong move down and also ending on a one push, two push, and then a one, two, three inside bar at the US session open for the reversal in the opposite direction. But this uh, was the peak formation for the week on a third level one, two, three to form the high point for the week coming off of uh, Thursday, Friday, and then the reversal uh, ending up going down for the rest of the week. Uh, again, just marking off our highs and lows. And when we, uh, this is a sideways consolidation, but often you'll see three higher levels of lows heading into that final 33 level or three lower levels of highs which are stops building up for that big burst to come back through in the reversal itself. Another example, similar, just uh, an Asian session high pulling back in that second three hour window and then having a one, two, three burst to the London open for a one, two, three reversal stop hunt, but giving us our level one uh, market consolidated at the bottom of the uh, 12 candle window in the London open before reversing and stop hunting the high again for a second burst to the high and then a one, two, three pullback and then again a one, two, three to the high with a pin stop hunting the high just prior to our US session 12 candle window sideways at the numbers and engulfment and then an inside bar at the US session open for the big move back down. So again, we see, we tend to be really focused on the so small swing interday swings intercession swings but you as the day unfolds start stepping back and looking for this three pushes into a high or into a peak u.s session opening up high for the reversal back in the other direction and again you'll often see this uh, three lower sessions three lower sets of highs uh, three pushes down into the u.s open for the reversal back up again another example uh, dropping the um, Asian session down 50 pips and consolidating before bursting out just prior to the Europe session at the end of Asia and then a strong burst to the high stop hunting Asian shorts and a pullback and then a more consolidated version of this but pushing back one push two push three pushes into the US session open again timing is everything these pushes will usually end just prior to the, to the session opening, similar to the one, two, three to the high at the London open. But again, one push, pull back, two pushes, pull back, and a one, two, three engulfment and the reversal. We have higher lows setting uh, stop losses all the way up higher. People chasing that trade higher up, higher level long smashed immediately upon getting into the trade chasing the pin bar, which is a trap, and then the big reversal heading into the U.S. Open. Some different example, a dropping down, consolidating again, a little bit of a, a stop hunt low in the Europe Open, one, two, sideways three, and then a big open drive candle at the London Open, bursting uh, through the highs, breakout trade, pull back, hitting it again for our second burst to the high, and then a one, two, sideways, three to the high, pin bar, stop hunt, engulfment, pull back, hitting the high one more time, and then a big reversal candle, and then that US session open following through, hitting the stops, dropping right down 75 pips, and then consolidating into the session close. But again, that big burst, one burst, two bursts, and then a just a variation of the one, two, three on the final third thrust to the high, but basically same thing. One push, two push, and then three pushes with the pin high, dropping down, consolidating underneath the peak, dropping down again, US session open, dropping another 50 pips. Another example, just uh, extending the Asian range, making new highs before pulling back, stop hunting, higher level uh, longs in the Asian session and bursting through again and then a one, two, three again at the London session open and a pullback, a breakout pullback again for the double micro double bottom. And then uh, so one push, two push, and then a breaking out one, two, and then again the one, two, three 
So a different variation again. One, two, and then a one, two, three to the high, consolidating US session open, trapping higher level longs very quickly. Probably uh, some news release here. We've got the big pin on both sides of that doji before the continuation back down for 50 to 75 pips. But again, just recognizing as this as the day unfolds, the the three sessions moving higher, and then the three distinct bursts, and then three smaller bursts into the peak, higher lows, higher lows, and then also these coinciding with the session opening times. Just another uh, example. Um, just another example of how this can also unfold over the course of a week. Monday uh, breaking out of the previous uh, Thursday, Friday's highs, forming our level one can, before pulling back and consolidating and then Tuesday level two and then dropping down again. And Thursday, we uh, consult, break out of that consolidation for a level one and then a level two burst higher. And then an accelerating uh, vertical move for the third peak on that third level, one, two, three to the high. And then dropping down on Friday for the Friday reversal into Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that move taking out the lows of the final one, two, three to the high. But again, this pattern will show up a lot as well over the weekly cycle, whether that's longs or shorts. But again, that one push, two push, and then the one, two, three to the high for dropping down and consolidating, dropping down again and falling for a large reversal of that whole move back up to the highs. So again, just to study these patterns, traders, they show up all over the place. They show up intercession. We see, we'll see three bursts within a session itself, Asia, London, New York. That could be in a trend move. You might see three, three bursts that finally end on three pushes. Uh, but again, these show up every week and it coincides with our, you know, 12 candle window, the highs and lows of the day, equity opening times, Usually round numbers will have a, uh, a level in there where the, where the market will be consolidating or pinning for traders to be able to position themselves. And asymmetrical risk reward. You can sell high or buy low for three, four, and sometimes five times your risk. So study these patterns, make them part of your playbook. Start recognizing this as the sessions unfold. If you're a U.S. session trader, you have the advantage of seeing the three sessions unfold over the full course of the day. But often we will see moves take off in Asia that are the final third burst of a move ending from the U.S. session. So study these, have a great trading week, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.